Welcome back to the Davy Brown 990 Restoration. For those of you new, my name's Barry. Right, today I thought we'd just do a quick little video. It is going to be a quick one as well. Popping one of those clutches back together. This is the, I think it's the 10 inch plate. We'll turn it over when we're finished, we'll measure it, I'm sure. This is the 10 and 11 inch plate one, possibly off an 880. Right, let's get set up, have a look at what we've got to do and crack on. Okay, so we've got our bits here. We've got our fingers, three fingers, pins, let's get moved a bit, pins, PTO plate adjustment screws, circlip for the bearing, bearing, or in there, and the thrust plate that sits in the back of there and we've got all our springs and our caps and we've got our two pressure plates this is a double plated clutch it has got in there it's got the main friction it's got the main friction plate this is the drive plate this one compresses the intermediate plate that is for the PTO clutch behind this one um, now, with this cover, when I took this to bits previously, I marked them. I put a centre punch. I put a centre punch mark on the lug, which is for the cast main drive plate. Centre pop the cover, and I also centre popped here the PTO cover. That's so they go back the way they came out of the shop. Some of these are balanced up and it doesn't hurt to identify the way you take it a bit in order to make sure it goes back together the same way. Well fingers if you remember, um, if you pop back to the, the previous video, I'll put a link up here to it for, these, uh, for the dismantling and attempted reassembly there's a little keyway there and I don't know what that's off right so our fingers got cleaned painted and prepped because if you remember I was going to take the fingers off here because they are the same as the fingers on the 990 one and all mine the holes were worn out uh, the bearings were shot and the tips were worn out so we took these all the bits we took inside here is 19 in each tiny little needle rolls rollers we took them all the bits washed them greased them reassembled them put them back together these are the original springs of this clutch plate um, we swapped them back over because we were going to, as I said, we were going to put them on the other, on the 990 to see if they would work. Until I got at it with a hammer, didn't I? And I snapped one of the lugs off with a hammer. Now I am going to have a go, just for the hell of it, of drilling and pinning and welding up that broken lug. And we'll reassemble the clutch just like this. But it will never go on a tractor. It will never go back on another tractor. So, we've got all our bits and pieces. Let's get set up. We'll get our springs put in, caps put in, stick it in my press. We're going to use a bit of angle iron on the centre to compress it down. Put my fingers on, put my pins in, get it sorted out. Sounds easy, doesn't it? Huh? Piece of cake, man. I hear you saying, piece of cake. Let's disassemble this, put our springs in, get our caps in. Oh, we're going to leave that on, can't we? We're going to leave that in there. When we put this in the press, I've got some bits of wood that I'm going to put under there to allow it to compress on the main drive plate and not on the PTO plate which will allow these fingers to come further up through the cover so let's have a look 
we have got short springs which are for the PTO cover like that and we have got double springs which are for the main drive plate I never bothered washing this one up, I uh, painted it the way I did the other one. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter, does it? Right, let's get our covers on. Our ca top cap, our top hats. They look like little top hats, don't they? Put them over the little... I don't know why they've got holes in them. Somebody out there will know. Put them all face in the centre. Just so it looks pretty, eh? Okay. This is me centre popped leg. There's me centre pop on that one. So that's going to go on that way. Okay, now let's get you moved from here down the press, get this set up on the press, get ready to compress it, pop my fingers in with my pins. All right, jobs are good. Right, let's. Pop this in there. I want to make sure that those two bits of wood are only on the main pressure plate and not on the PTO one. Okay, let's have a look now. See if we've got enough stroke on my jack get this down there I know what I can do. I'll grab grab a set of bolting blocks. Right. There we go. Okay, let's check everything is seated, now we'll get our fingers, our three fingers, we'll pop one, oh I'll tell you what I might do first, let's find some little pins, okay I'm back. What I've got here, three little pins, and I pop split pins through one end of them. Because the last thing you want is this coming loose under pressure. 
put that in there because there is an enormous amount of spring pressure on here. One helps if you put the finger on, doesn't it, Barry? All these little sp pins do is stop the look the the main pin from coming adrift and slipping out. It's the main pins, these ones that carry the weight, not the little split pins. Okay, now let's release this pressure slowly, I said slowly, give it up. Right, now I know what I can do. <coughs> Put three bolts under those arms. See if this will work. Right, <clears throat> what we've got to do now is get these springs under the fingers for all three. See if we can see if we can push these springs down using a bit of angle iron on there, push them over the edge. Watch, can you see the spring in there? Watch the spring.
then we'll just pop my little nut back in the back and just slowly release the tension right all our fingers is in what we need to do now is pop our bearing in oil can a little bit of oil on my bearing help it go down I'm staying on the outside of the race for this not going anywhere near the inner race Okay, so now or below the circlip ring, put a little bit of oil on there. Right, so you can see there we've got a witness mark around the outside of the circlip that way. So that's the way it's gonna it come out. me fingers on it for that very reason if the guns ping this will fly there we go in hammer just gently tap make sure it's gone in okay we need to put a pressure plate in. That goes in there. A pair of pointy nose pliers. Just ease the springs over the top. Like that. that back together. We now have our adjustment nuts to put in. Put them in there. These just screw into the PTO plate. Get an Allen key and we'll screw them down a touch. That. We'll just screw them down till the outer lock nuts touch the PTO plate. Right, now. Okay, this nut's nearly dropping out. So, I'm going to do, I'm going to pop it back into the press. I'm going to push down on here check all this, put these back into position so they're safe but that's it finished that's what it is, now let's have a look at this let's get a tape measure, we'll measure these plates up right, yes the main drive plate for the gearbox would be a 10 inch plate the PTO would probably be an 11 inch plate because as I say, this ring is what pushes against the intermediate plate with your PTO plate behind it. So, actually a PTO plate might even be just a nine inch, mind it? 
Aye, your PTO could be a nine inch. But there you go. You see here, we are two knockouts. That's for if you're changing the bearing, you can put a punch in there and punch your bearing out. But there we are, nice new bearing in there. Okay. As I say, that's it done. Right. That's our back together. That's a complete working pressure plate now, and that's a good one. That was the one tripping over his press, he says. That was the one that John Moore sent me up as a reconditioned unit, apparently. Right? Other than that, I know nothing about it. If you can remember, um, when my clutch sadly passed away, um, I was after a replacement. John Moore very kindly had this in his shed at home and he sent it up to me. Um, didn't want any money for it. He paid the postage as well, so he, mega, mega big thank you, John. But I was putting it back together, lay in pieces ever since, because I took it a bit to fix my clutch, which didn't happen. Back together now, it's in working format. We can pass that on to someone else. Right. <sighs> Happy. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks very much for joining us. As always, your time's greatly appreciated when you come visiting us. But remember, don't overthink it. It's only nuts and bolts. See you in the next one. Thanks very much. Ta-da now.